Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of September. This is a reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, typically my readings are love readings but my monthlies are usually some other message, maybe a little bit of love in there, I don't know. But my weeklies, you know, those tend to go towards love a little bit more. This is, will be a love reading. I mean, I concentrate on love, but we'll see what comes up. Gemini. They always have a, a message of some sort. Ooh. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Makes sense. Gemini, Moon, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Be open. Whether it's good or bad. It's time to take back control of your life. Speak up. Speak up. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the other person. Death card reversed. You guys are holding on to something and it's getting old. This is um, needing to release but not doing so. <laughs> Ooh, the Hierophant reversed. So there's a lack of faith. Not believing in oneself. Not listening to your inner guide. Now, this could be a divorce, this could be a breakup, this could be blocking something. Blocking an ending. Mm -hmm. Insecurity, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, this is the Five of Pentacles. This is treading on thin ice. You guys are gambling. You are... unsure that's for darn sure very unsure this is insecurity needing to move on from something it's time to move on but you aren't doing so so you guys are holding on to something resisting a transition resisting a release of something that is holding you back. Something is holding you back. Huh. Ooh. Now look at this. You guys are are indecisive. It's like you you know what you need to do. You do. You know what you need to do, but you're not doing it, which is I've already said. You do need to free yourself from something. You guys are, are keeping that veil on. You're keeping that mask on, refusing to see the truth. You're in denial about whatever it is that you need to move on from. <laughs> it's almost like you're playing a game, okay, with yourself. You could be playing it with the other person, too. But anyway, you have this fear of growing old alone, so maybe that's why you're holding on. Maybe you don't want to be alone, and that could be why you're holding on. But it looks like there's not a lot of passion, there's not a lot of growth, and there's not a real commitment here, whatever it is. It's nothing long-term. E. Lack of strength, lack of courage, lack of willpower, lack of discipline to let something end. 
now, like I said, it could be a divorce. It could be something that you are committed to. The fact of the matter is, is your inner guide is telling you what to do, but you're not listening. You're not listening to the guidance that you're receiving, whether you're receiving it from another person physically or from your intuition or from above or whatever. You're not listening. You may be going through some sort of midlife crisis and loneliness is a big factor here. I don't want to be alone. Therefore, I will gamble on this situation that isn't really harmonious, but I will pretend that it is. This is pretending. Ah, the moon. There's some sort of truth that is not being accepted. This is the moon reverse, and this is the truth not being accepted, and this one is too. Okay, so there's confusion. There's fear of loneliness, fear of being alone. There could be even fear of commitment. You could be dealing with somebody who has fear of commitment, if it ain't you. <laughs> but you're dealing with it anyway. You're in denial. Maybe you think you can change this person. You can't change this person. Just saying. Uh, there's something going on behind the scenes. There's hidden forces here. There's This is some sort of illusion that is causing you to be confused about what the truth is. But the truth is that you need to move on from something. You need to find the strength to do so. Because there's no growth. There's, there's no growth. Whatever it is. You need to take the lead. You need to be the boss. You need to protect yourself. You need to dominate this situation. You could be dealing with an Aries. And before I even started this reading, I almost said that you could be dealing with an Aries. So I don't know if you are. But you are probably dealing with a man that is a boss. Okay? This man is, is a boss or he's in a managerial position or he has his shit really, really together. Whether it's a man or a woman, you're dealing with somebody that is very um, prominent. You know, this guy has a lot of wisdom, okay? So whoever you're dealing with, they have a lot of wisdom and they, and they have a lot of, of self-control, you know, and they have leadership skills and they can take really good care of you and they take really good care of themselves but they also have some secrets and they're not telling you everything and you know that I think you know that but you don't want to be alone so you're willing to gamble you're willing to you know involve yourself in this situation with where there is some deception there's definitely some secrets So, this card is saying, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. This card is saying kind of the same thing. Take the mask off. Accept the truth. Accept the reality of this situation. You may be dealing with this person just because you don't want to be alone. I don't see any love in these cards. Where are the cups, anyway? Can anybody point out any love in these cards? No, they can't. There may be sexual passion, or maybe there was. But maybe that's even died. Oh, there's no victory and success here. There's no forward movement. And somebody definitely... Is it finding the mental strength to move on, to let go? There's a lack of willpower and discipline. Like I said, this card just reiterated what I said with this card. Unable to master your emotions and believe in yourself. You know, unable to let go and let God. 
These are both like a Jesus consciousness. They're both reversed, unable, trying to control, trying, and this is trying to control as well. This, it's like, you know what? I'll just pretend that everything is going to work out because I don't want to be alone. You know, if you could be patient and prepare yourself for that right ship to arrive, that right person to come into your life, the right one would come, that your prayers would be answered. But when you don't wait, you will usually get lessons. I feel as though right now you have to focus on the future. Realize that your future is bright. You don't have to stay in a situation that has no growth, that has no forward uh, victory and success. You don't have to stay in that situation just because it's safe. Just, be, just say that you have somebody. Now, if you are in a happily ever after relationship, this reading is not for you. If you are still watching at this point, you're obviously not. Somebody is refusing to take action. You could be dealing with a player, somebody that, you know, isn't planning on sticking around. But you don't want to believe that. That's going right here. You don't want to believe it. You don't want to see it. You think you can talk this person into changing or changing them in some way. Oh, goodness gracious. Now, this is letting go of the struggles. I know that you're reluctant to move on. Patience is needed. Patience to wait, wait for the arrival of the right opportunity. You have to be patient. Now, we have three fives. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Power struggles, life choices, conflicts, instability, divinely guided major life changes that go of the old and bring in the new. It's a personal time of personal freedom. Expect the unexpected with 555. Five, five. Right now you are, there's not a feeling of really working together with this person. This person may not appreciate you. There's not a lot of teamwork here. And somebody's thinking about walking away. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody's thinking about walking away. They're thinking about the fact that this is not really emotionally fulfilling. But I'm pretty comfortable ignoring this. I'm ignoring the truth because I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Um, I think that you're right now, you're sitting on the fence. You have to make a decision. It's a painful, stressful decision. You have to face your fears. You're being torn between two options. Do you, do you stay playing this game, this tug of war? Do you stop, um, do you keep involving yourself in this situation that there's no victory and success, but you know, it's something, right? It's something. Or do you move forward and patiently wait for what is right? thinking about it yeah you're in limbo you're stuck needing to see things from a new perspective you're probably sacrificing you're wasting time you're wasting time right now with something that isn't fruitful it's not okay yeah okay you are wasting your time hanging on to something that is not fruitful with these three cards and these are this is major and like I said, um, with the 555, divinely guided major life changes. Transformation card, transformation card. They're both reversed. Transition. It's like you're, you're refusing a new beginning with elsewhere, a passionate new beginning elsewhere. It's, it can't come if you're involved in this drama that you're involved in with these three fives. You guys are involved in some sort of drama. It's like it's a game. With the five of wands and the um, the five of pentacles, you know what it is. It's 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 like it's a game of some sort. It's a gamble. It's a risk. 
But it's it's fine to ignore the truth because it's safe in some way. You know, you're putting in a lot of work into it, aren't you? Working hard to make something work. Because you can, you know, it's tangible, you can touch it. But still, no fucking love. None, all these cards. Why are you resisting letting go of this? And I, you know why? Why? Because you can touch it? Because it's a status? It's a thing? You need to use your sword. Maybe you don't you don't want to be lonely. I don't want to be alone. speechless I am I mean this just tells me that you're you've been hurt in the past and it's almost like you've closed yourself off so it's like I don't even care if they love me as long as I have somebody I don't even care I'm bitter anyway if, as long as I have somebody to touch it's fine You know, it's as though you guys are losing out on a true opportunity for love by wasting your time with somebody that is controlling, using you, not reciprocating fully. And it's safe, it's safe, and I think that's what this is. It's, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe. Even though it's not love, it's safe. You know, I have somebody. Aha! Thank you. So there is an opportunity for love. and happiness but you could be dealing with somebody that isn't following through somebody that is full of shit so you're like I said you're wasting your time you deserve love you you're dealing with somebody that has no follow-through could be a water sign Pisces cancer Scorpio could be Leo could be anybody it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Anyway, I feel as though you are dealing with a situation that has no relationship growth. It doesn't. It's fake. With the two of swords right underneath it. And you have to make a choice. Do you want real love? Do you want real happiness? Or do you want to stay in this safe, safe zone? You have to make a choice. Remember I said you have two choices. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? And then you do. So I feel like you do have an opportunity for love with, with somebody. You have the power to manifest, to shed the old. The power is yours to do what, to get whatever you want. But this is about using your resources, your power to shed the old. You have to be willing to shed to bring success to your life. So there's something that needs to be shed so that you can have this union that you deserve. So is there going to be happiness in September? Oh, so we have the tower. 
This is a rude awakening. Somebody's in a false commitment right now. That's what this is. I know that's what this is. With the Knight of Cups reversed right next to it. You're in a false situation that has, it's not concrete, it's not stable, there's lies and you know it and you're in denial and you have another opportunity waiting for you but you can't see it right now because you're, you're wasting your time with a fucking player, excuse my language. Um, and you know, it, ego, pride is a factor but there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you want it. But, you know, you, you're going to have to, you may have to, to reject somebody. And that may hurt. It feels as though you're going to have to be logical. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to be decisive. And you're going to have to be firm. And you're going to have to do what's right for you. Because whoever it is that you're dealing with, Right now, they're not the right one. You have somebody else that is better suited. But right now, you can't see it. There's nothing to be happy about in the situation that you're in. I'm sorry. For those of you that are in denial over a relationship, but you can touch it, you know, and you can feel it, whatever. There's, there's no changing this person. There's no reunion. There's, it's really nothing to celebrate. Nothing to write home about. And you need to be logical. Practical. There's a lack of self-love here. Somebody's not following their intuition. You may feel uh, overly emotional at this time. You could be dealing with somebody that is emotionally closed off. And you have to be practical. You have to, you have to be the one to speak up because this person sure is hell ain't. This person has a victim mentality, man or woman. And they're, they're closed off emotionally. You're dealing with somebody who is closed off emotionally, whether it's a water sign, an earth sign, fire sign, air sign, I don't care who it is. You're dealing with somebody that can't really open up to love. And right now you may be okay with that because it's touchable. You have to be practical. You have to come down to reality. Not reality, reality. You have to accept the truth of this situation and speak up, take care of yourself. Whoever you're dealing with has secrets with that moon card. They do, they're not telling you everything. Anyway, I feel as though you have an opportunity for somebody else if you could patiently wait for them and remove yourself from this situation. You need to move on from something, free yourself. I mean, come on now. But then you're gonna have to wait with that three of wands. You're gonna have to patiently wait for that right opportunity could be somebody from your past, somebody that you've known before. And this doesn't mean it's somebody that you've even known in this lifetime. I have to clear that up. Because people will think, oh, no, no, I don't want my ex. Somebody from the past does not mean it's your ex. It could be, but that doesn't always mean that. Okay? You have to open up your mind here. This could be somebody that you've known in a past life. This could be somebody you've known when you were a child. This could be somebody from your hometown. This could be somebody that you were an acquaintance with at work 10 years ago. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be, it could be whoever this person is in your future. This person is very noble. They can take really good care of you. But you have to regain your concentration and your focus, Gemini. You have to take the lead, like I said earlier. Because this person isn't going to. Whoever you're dealing with, whoever you're dealing with is very 
they hide their true feelings. They hide their emotions. They can't open up emotionally. And it's, it's not trustworthy. You're dealing with an a untrustworthy individual. Somebody that is not telling you the truth. I know it. I know it. I know it. And you're going to have to be the one to call them out. You have another opportunity in their future. But you can't see it right now because you're dealing with a player. Like I said, if you're in a happily ever relationship, you shouldn't be watching tarot readings. You don't need them. If you're not, then you're watching this for a reason. Somebody does not want to be held accountable for their actions, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. You're dealing with an untrustworthy individual who is closed off emotionally and they're not in love with you. And you know it. But you can touch it. You can touch them. You have to be patient and wait for that right ship to arrive. Probably within... Oh, let me get one more card. This is unrealistic, dissatisfying situation. Probably within I would say six months to three years. And I know that's a long time, but I have to tell you because there's so many different people. Six months to three years from the time you remove yourself from this situation you will find that right opportunity. And if you can't be patient and wait for that, you will continue to get negative karma. This is a kind of karma and it's reversed. Patience is a, in divine timing, is really, it's a life lesson. So I feel like right now you are dealing with somebody that is bringing you down. You're dealing with a negative Nelly. Somebody that has a self-image problem. And therefore they can't open themselves up to love. They can't. And you have a new opportunity. You have a new opportunity waiting for you. But you can't see it right now. Because you're in denial trying to change somebody. It's time to complete that cycle. It is. It's time to step over that finish line. It's time to start a new chapter in your life. You have a major new beginning waiting for you. But you can't see it when you're dealing with a player. Let's get one of these. Gemini. Yeah, I think that you guys are dealing with a situation that is unjustified and it's safe, but it's not love. And you have an opportunity for love that you can't even see. You know, you can't see it while you're you're still holding on to something that is emotionally detached. I think you're dealing with a person that can't love. You, that person can't love. Whatever. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Wonderful. Everything is blossoming and bearing fruit now. Open yourself to receive. The prosperity you seek is being activated. A stream of abundance in all areas of life is ready to flow into your life. 
The Creator desires that you prosper. Take action in the direction of your dreams. This is not the time to passively wait for prosperity to fall into your lap. You have to take action. Life goes in cycles. There are times when fields lay fallow, and there are also times of harvest. Right now, you are moving towards a harvest time to receive an outpouring of money, energy, time, or love. However, you must first know that you deserve it, and you do. And you may not know that with that Queen of Swords reversed. You deserve love. There are times on this journey when life is fallow, but in the times of harvest, the sacred traveler shares the bounty and even volunteers to help others bring in their crops. This is the time to give deeply and fully of who you are and what you have. For the more you truly give, the more you receive. It's a universal law. As you focus on gratitude for all what you, what you already have, your abundance will grow leaps and bounds. So I think that the universe is trying to bring you what you deserve. But you might not even see it. So anyway, uh, you know, it's time to take back control of your life. Speak up. Speak up. Talk to you later.